Welcome to our outside house tour. You haven't seen the outside of our new property yet, so we're gonna show you around. We're also gonna show you our secret bookshelf and what it heads into. It's really cool, it's one of the kids' favorite parts. But as you know, we've already transformed the outside. Here's a look at what it used to look like. Looks so much better, right? Comment below to tell me if you like painted brick or regular. I know it's really controversial, but let's head on to the back and show you our property. When we were talking about moving to Texas, I was like, guys, kids, we found this house with a tree house. And they're all like, what? The tree house and the pool were the two things that they were so excited about. You have to come check out this tree house. Ben, I'm volunteering you to climb up there. <laughs> oh, great, thanks. All right, buddy, let's go. Not where I'm going up. I'll wait for you. Hi, Mom. Hi, babe. Mommy, up here. I see you. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I see you right there. No, that's Dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're up in the treehouse now. Check it out. This thing is pretty fun. It has a little pulley for the ladder down there so that once you're up here, you can you know, block people out from coming up. You can block away your enemies, but it's really fun. It actually has electricity, decent amount of space. Come over here, you can look over the pool. Imagine it's warmer out. Very nice. <laughs> All right, let's head back down. Ooh. Good job. All right, Wesley, what is your favorite part about this house? The pool. Me too. Let's go check it out. So we immediately saw this nice picture of the pool and that perked up our attention. We're like, ooh, we should check this house out because uh, it has a really nice sized pool and it has a child safe cover, which is fantastic. It's completely sealed all the way around. So we totally love that. And we don't have to manually open it every time. So I have this handy dandy little flipper thing here and then you just enter a code in and it open this, opens it right up. Don't show Wesley the code. I do not. We totally love this thing. We've already put in so many hours in the pool. It isn't heated though, so we can't use it all winter long. So when it's too cold to use the pool, then we kind of have a kid's zone set up over there. You can see behind me, we have the trampoline and we have this awesome game that I've never heard of but until we found it a little while ago, but it's super fun. It's called cross net. Let's go check it out. We love playing volleyball in the pool. The kids absolutely adored it this summer. It was the first time they'd played. So they've been asking to play volleyball, but we don't have a net for the yard. So we actually found this four person one. That way the kids all have their own square so they don't fight so much. It's height adjustable for kids and then adults. So we've actually played with our friends a couple times too. Really fun. I highly recommend it. When I was looking for this, I was looking for like a four square type of thing where they stayed in their own squares and a cross net popped up. It's the first ever four square volleyball net. this because it's something different for the kids. I can throw it up really easily. Comes with a carrying case so I can put it in the RV too. I just find that the more outside toys that I find for them, the more they play outside and that's what I want to encourage. That's why we moved here so the kids could play outside all winter, all summer. And this has already been hours and hours and hours of entertainment. And we've played with my parents who live in our guest house and it's just really fun. I highly, highly recommend this if you guys are looking for any gift options. I will put the link in the description. It took me a while to find, so I'll make it easy for you. It's just in the description listed below. Whoa, try it again, Dixie, be quiet. 
Whoa! Like Becca said, we always like to focus on having the kids outside, so we try to have lots of fun things for them to do outside. We brought the trampoline with us from Washington. It was the number one thing that if we could have lost anything, we had to bring the trampoline with us. So unlike our last property where it would have taken 10 minutes to walk to the back, this takes a quick two minutes. We have just three acres here, like we said before. It's a very long lot, but we really like it. It's nice having less. It is, but one of the re things that we are always looking for is a place that was still really private, and yes. we definitely have that with this place. There's, It's just open land behind us. As you can see, our neighbors are over here, but you can't see them. It's blocked by brush and trees. But here's a really interesting thing about our property that we're trying to figure out, and maybe you guys can help us figure out. I'll show you. When they dug the pool and the guest house, they put all the rocks right here at the back of our property and it's just piles and piles of rocks. We got a quote for it to be removed. It was gonna cost us $10,000. 15. $15,000. <laughs> Kill me now. So that's obviously not gonna happen because you see the car that I drive. That would be more than my car. So um, we have really beautiful rocks that we're trying to figure out what to do with. I think I might actually put dirt on them and then landscape it. That's my plan. But if you guys know what I should do with a pile of rocks, write in the comments below and let me know. At the back of our property here, we have a barn. I don't know if I'd call it a barn. I'd call it like a shed. shed. But we're thinking about maybe getting some goats or something eventually back here. Maybe if the kids join 4-H or something like that. One of the really beautiful things about our property that is, I think, harder to find here in Texas for what we hear is that we have a lot of really old growth trees. We love the shade that they provide and the character they add to our property. One of the main perks about the old growth trees is that you can put the wings on them. When I was looking at this house to buy it, this is like the first thing that I did. I was like, okay, the kids would like it here. Okay, focusing on our tour. We also have outdoor projection screen, which is awesome. And then that takes us to our cistern. So we'll explain that process. Also Miller has a lot of energy right now. We will have another tour this summer when everything's updated right now. It's just what the old owner had, but we will be redoing this whole area. Right here is the projection screen. You can float in the pool in the summer and watch movies. So we're excited to use the projection screen this summer and we'll take you along with us for that and show you, I don't know, I'm excited. We haven't done it yet, but I like that we have it. Let's go check out the cistern. This little she shed right here is just our pool house. It has all our pool equipment, has a little shop on the back of it for tools and such. And then we have like an extra fridge in there. We're gonna actually be redoing that space. Okay, so we have nine of these giant barrels back here. This is a, about a 22,000 gallon rainwater collection system. So this is all the rainwater that comes off of the houses and they come down underground, fill up these tanks, and this is what we live off of. So these are, this is feeding the house. Uh, all the water that we drink, that we use uh, for everything is all coming from here. So we loved the, we loved this about the house because it's kind of gives us the opportunity to be a little bit more self-sufficient. And it's really fun to be able to kind of reuse and, and use our own drinking water. So we're, we're on a septic system. We have our water taken care of self-sufficiently. So the last part of the puzzle is to add solar. And we do want to do that sometime in the future so that we can be basically completely off the grid and we can just take care of ourselves. Then we just need to plant a big garden back here and get some cows and pray it all rains. that other stuff. No problem. Just pray it rains. Yeah, yeah, and then we just gotta pray it rains. It's funny that we moved from the rainiest part of the country to here, and now we live off of rainwater. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Ironic. Okay. I love that the kids play outside from the moment they wake up to the moment they go to sleep. It's like my favorite thing about this house. I was really worried that they would lose part of their childhood moving here because Washington just gave them a sense of freedom with our backyard being so big. But I love that they play outside year round here. This is the pool house I was mentioning. We're gonna refinish it. Comment below if you wanna see that. But it has a lot of potential. Has a lot of potential to be adorable. Just not quite there yet. It will be when I'm done with it. All right, let's head on to the secret bookshelf. I'm so excited to show you that. Oh, I forgot. 
Just last week we had our deck refinished. So here's a little before of that. And this is a not a done because they're gonna put another two coats on here because it didn't turn out quite right. But I'm loving the color and the softness of it. And on those 103 days when it's hot here in the summer, it won't burn our feet. So we're inside the house now, backyard's right there, and we have this bookshelf key. There's a hidden lock down here. If I put the key in correctly, that will help. That, ready, shall we? So this is our guest house. It's actually only 100 square feet smaller than our entire house in Washington. So my parents live over here and they're here just a couple months out of the year, but let's give you a little tour. One of the main things that we really liked about this house was the ceiling. I thought that was really unique for all the houses that we looked at with guest properties. And it just has a lot of character for a guest house. A lot of the guest houses were renovated into the pool house or something like that. And we wanted to make sure my parents had something a bit nicer. So this place is definitely that. My mom just ran to her mom's house to take her dinner. So I don't even think she knows we're filming here. So disregard any mess you see. Mom, when you watch us on YouTube, I love you so much. Thanks for letting me film. <laughs> I love you. Um, this is our kitchen. Obviously their house is a lot more updated than ours, but it's just a really sweet space and it's been really great. Just this week, they just had this wall installed. It was an open air loft previously, so that drywall is actually still wet, but they made an office up there for my dad to work in. They have beautiful doors, huge, huge closets, a really sweet little bathroom. Just really cute. Totally my mom's flavor and taste, and I love that. They have a nice sized bedroom and it's nice and quiet. And what we really love about this property is that it's so separate from our house. So Ben, how do you like living with your in-laws since I know I'm gonna get a bunch of comments and DMs about it? I actually really, really like it. I was pretty nervous about it coming into it. And I think you might've actually been more nervous, I but um, not really knowing how it was gonna go. But like anytime they leave now, we're like, come back come soon. Back, please come back. Come back quickly. It has been so nice. It has been. It's just like some ex extra people here that we love and the kids love it because they can come over here and see their grandparents anytime they want. And they just baked like 12 batches of cookies with her the other day. There's a Monopoly game set out that she's been playing with them. We have some easy built-in babysitters, which is great. Yeah, anytime after the kids are in bed, we can just take off, which has been so, we haven't really gone on many date nights. But no. we have gone to Home Depot a lot. <laughs> a lot of Home Depot trips. <laughs> Texas has been such a healthy move for us. For sure. We love it. We love it here. I'm currently trying to, oh, and for those of you asking me about Florida, for our Florida trip, we canceled because it was a high of 49 degrees on the beach. No thanks. So that didn't, that didn't end up happening. We were rescheduled for the spring when it's going to be 80 degrees. Yeah, that sounds much better. I'm trying to convince him right now to go to Galveston with me, but we'll see if that happens. We'll see. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. We have so many home renovations, tips and tricks, and I'm bringing you back What's for Dinner Wednesday once a month. Mm. Comment down below if that's something you guys want to see or you're interested in. We're excited to bring that back and share some recipes with you. And we will see you guys next Sunday. We have a new video every single Sunday. See you next week. And remember, you're never going to look back on your life and wish you had less adventure and renovations. <laughs> <laughs> it won't last forever. <laughs> Someone the other day commented, they're like, they're like, it seems like that honey-do list is getting longer and longer. And I was like, yeah, love me, love me. All right, you need to get back to work. Back to, back to painting. Love me. Ow. Okay, let's go. I love that they can't see my legs. <laughs> ah. You thief! You thief! How old are you? No, I'm telling my mom! <laughs> the best part of living with my parents is stealing the cookies my mom makes. <laughs> she just texted me last night and told me not to steal any more cookies. <laughs> Thanks, mom! <laughs>